this is where we left in the last video in the last video we have learned about the asset keyword to handle in our smart contract so in this video we're going to see one more keyword which is there which allow you to handle error okay and this one is the final one so let's start working on it so let me give this comment i'll call it revert handler okay i'll create a contract by the name revert statement because revert is the keyword which allow us to handle error okay so we have three handler error handle keyword like required assert and revert okay and this one is the least used keyword method okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply create a function we'll say check overflow and it will take the unt two unt types and we'll say public view view return and we want to return the string okay simple now i want to take a variable called sum num1 plus num2 if sum is less than zero or sum is greater than 255 then i want to simply let's say revert this and i can say overflow exist okay else i want to return this and i want to say overflow and the exact value i hope this makes sense so what i'm doing here i'm checking for a condition if the sum is less than zero or sum is greater than 255 means it's not between this range okay then in such scenario they it's only throw this error message overflow exists okay but if the sum is in between the range then we are sending this message okay simple logic in this revert keyword we don't look for any condition okay we only pass the error message so that looks good to me now these are the checks we are doing revert and we have the error let's deploy the contract bring the terminal up hit the deploy and just look at this function and here we have to pass the two number 34 and 56 and here you can see we got this you can see no overflow because the range is lies between these okay and we get this unt okay so everything's looking fine looks great to me so that's the simple logic simple thing it's pretty simple but you will find but you will notice one thing that in most of the contract which already out there in the different blockchains they don't use this revert keywords okay because in that you, it's limited you can't able to check for the conditions okay because when you use this revert keyword in such scenario you have to check the condition based on the if else statement okay and that's the unnecessary lot of code you have to add if you go with the revert keyword okay so if you use the required keyword in your statement for checking the condition it make your work very easy because you have to type the condition and you have to throw the error message okay so that's why you will not find in most of the smart contract they not prefer to use this revert keyword so that's how it looks hope this makes sense that's the only thing i want to cover i don't want to extend this video because this is the concept you have to understand don't try to use revert don't try to use assert just try to use the required because in that you can easily able to check for the condition and send the message or you can simply change the message only or check the condition only okay so hope you have found this video valuable if you have still any question and doubt do leave in the comment section with that let's move to the next video